show as Thursday Night Baseball from Bush Stadium in St. Louis. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Atlanta Braves and the St. Louis Cardinals. Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak and guys, the Redbirds played well in the series so far, winning the first two in this three-game set. No doubt they will be absolutely focused. You want to steal a sweep from your rivals. You forget last year. Awfully ugly. We'll see if he can rebound and pitch much better. And if he doesn't, his spot in the rotation could be in jeopardy. It will be awfully important that he gets off to a good start in this one. That brings in Tommy Edmond. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Tommy. Now here's the pitch. Sinkers in there. No balls and a strike. Well, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Yeah, I get it, Matty. The team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Now the 1-0. Misses for the second ball. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Now the 2-0. Yanked on the ground down the line. To second for one. On to Goldschmidt, and it's in time. A double play, and the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D-Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet. Can't come up with it. And two runners advance. Now they're both into scoring position. Hit out to Albies at second base. He's got it. Only play is going to be to first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. Probably wanted more on that if that with runners in scoring position, but at least he does the job and brings one home. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. They're one ball, no strikes. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. The 1 0. Swing and a liner. And this is going to get down for extra bases, as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And they are on the board as the run scores from third to cut the lead to 2 1 now. Hey, we're in the middle of this one already, D. Row. They finally score a run, and they've had a tough time scoring some runs. Yeah, after taking it on the chin yesterday, it's nice to finally break through. Maybe this gives the off. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Now here's the first offering. 
There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Right fielder looking up, still going back. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he promptly unloads the bases with that one. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. Grand Slam got to fire you up right here. Not only just an unbelievable at bat, but four stakes to boot to give your team the lead. Couldn't be more fired up. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. From the belt, the pitch. Slow roller out to short. DeYoung's got it. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. They put up a big number in the inning as five crossed the plate. And this was the biggie here, the Grand Slam home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 5-2 Atlanta. And now the first pitch. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Around first, he's digging for second. Around second, he's on his way to third. And he'll get there without a play. It's a stand-up triple. So that's his third triple of the year. Yeah, that's not a ton, Matt, but he looked very capable there of picking up some more as the season goes on. into the corner and slicing foul. Here comes the one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. No damage done after the two out triple back with more on a Thursday night following this. dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here comes the one two. Swing and a liner. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Well, that wasn't your standard sack fly hit. It was hit pretty low and hard, so it wasn't a given they were going to send him. But they did, and they... Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. A ball that's carrying but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. The tag is there, and he's out trying to score from first as the second run. So two runs on four hits here. No errors, and one man left on. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves seven and the Cardinals two. Cards leave one. They're down five. It's seven to two. There's a strange wind blowing. Back now for the start of the sixth inning, and we send it down to Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. 
and he stressed that a big part of their success has been their ability to take advantage of their opportunities. As a team, they're hitting over 500 with runners in scoring position, something that is way easier said than done. So undeniably, that's been a huge factor in this game. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Well, Jorge Soler. Next, it'll be Jorge Soler. In past meetings with Jay Happ, he's four for 13. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Out of here, into the visitors' bullpen. It's a solo shot for Jorge Soler, number 17 for him on the season, as it's now a six-run ball game. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Gone! So, so a two-run shot to left center. Eighth home run on the season for him as they've widened this lead to eight now. Now Molina connects on one here, high and deep out to left field. And he will put this one away. And the Braves have finally found their way back into the win column as this ball game is over. Yeah, it's only been a week, but I guess it probably feels like a million years ago since they had their last win. But this six-game losing streak is behind them now, so we'll see if they can string some W's together. 10-2 to the final in this game. Atlanta scored 10 runs on the way to victory. Chucky Toussaint wins his third of the season. Johan Oviedo was only.